guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd make a quick video right now just to show you some really small YouTubers that I watch that I think are really really good and I watch them on the regular. Probably more than actually most big YouTubers just because I just think their content's really really good like they... Smaller YouTubers tend to be better than bigger YouTubers mainly because we have a point to prove and we're trying to get somewhere and we don't really have that much pressure on us or anything, like we're not being paid or anything so we can make videos that are like non-advertiser friendly, we can do whatever we want. I have a few that I really want to suggest to you because I just think they deserve to be seen and most of them actually have more subscribers than me but I thought I'd show these to anyone that watches me and doesn't know of them because it's more likely that you've never heard of them rather than if I were to make a video about how I like Zoella or whatever the fuck like it wouldn't really matter and you've already seen these people so it's like why would I make a video like that so I just thought I would share some small YouTubers that you should definitely check out and by small YouTubers I mean teeny tiny YouTubers but most of them are bigger than me so that must make me like minuscule. First one that I've been watching a lot lately is A Million Mad Musings. Is that right? Yep, A Million Mad Musings. I actually get her confused between Rebecca TGALC Explained for some reason. I keep getting them mixed up in my head, but A Million Mad Musings. She reminds me of Rose and Rosie a little bit. I think she's British, I'm pretty sure she is. She is. She's currently at university. She makes videos that are more about fandom stuff I guess because she makes videos on like I think how I found her was through John Locke videos running about that or something like talking about um, the final problem she makes really good videos talking about interesting topics and she just sits in front of her camera and just talks and I really found that inspiring because when I first made videos I thought everything had to be like really really interesting and intricate and really just I had to be doing something extreme like a challenge or something for it to be interesting but it doesn't have to be like I really respect vloggers that just sit in front of the camera and they just talk and it's really interesting because you're just into their personality and how they view the world and the things they talk about and she's really good at that and I think that she 100% deserves more subscribers and I'm pretty sure she's got like 2,000 or something but if anyone on my channel doesn't watch her which is quite you know likely because we're both quite small channels she's bigger than me but you know then you should definitely go check her out I really want to see her do well and I can definitely see her progressing I'm pretty sure she just announced that she was doing a show or something she was in a show or something like that so I definitely want to check that out and yeah I just think she really deserves to have more subscribers so you should definitely go and check her out also she has blue hair like me but it looks way nicer I think her name's Gemma yeah I'm pretty sure her name's Gemma, but you should definitely check her out. The next one is Rebecca TG, TJLC Explained. Um, she basically, if you don't know what TJLC is, it's the, I'm pretty sure, well, what does it stand for? The John Locke Conspiracy Theory or something like that. Something like that. Anyway, this was a really interesting channel and I'm really sad that she stopped making videos, but <laughs> basically she made videos like over analysing things in Sherlock that was proof of John and Sherlock having romantic feelings for each other and them being endgame as a romantic gay couple and honestly she truly made me believe that they were going to be the outcome and I truly truly believed it and by the time the final problem came along and they suddenly made them both really straight completely screwed over the fans and just completely gay baited um, <laughs> I was really disappointed in Sherlock and the writers and everything and I was so sad and I, the first thing I did was check her channel and I was so sad to see that she deleted her Tumblr and she's just basically vanished off of social media as far as I know and it makes me really sad because her videos were so intriguing and even though they were like an hour long I used to watch them just so much. I remember it was around Christmas time. I would watch them all the time and they were so interesting and I'd watch it all the way through despite it being an hour. Usually <coughs> usually I have like a really short attention span but she was just so smart and so clever and she just sometimes you'd think that over analysing things can come across as being a bit you know overreaching but her videos never really did that for me and 
I was just like wow I've never noticed this before like oh my god this confirms it even more and just like it made me ship John Locke to the extreme like I really cared and really wanted it to happen so I'm really sad that she no longer posts videos but I'm hoping all the videos are still on there I haven't really checked but she's not really a small small channel she's much bigger than me but if you've not heard of her for whatever reason and I'm sure most people have if you watch Sherlock and you ship John Locke then you should go and check out her channel because even though she doesn't really post I really enjoyed her videos and it's still fun to watch them. I remember there's no feeling like watching her videos back in the day when there was actually hope so if you want to check that out oh my god what's wrong with my voice today? If you want to check that out then you definitely should. Also she spells her name lightly which is freaking cool. Okay the next one is someone that I found recently um, after Dodie released her song um, What's it called? Oh my goodness. In the middle, that's the one. She made, or they, I think it's they. I want to get the pronouns right. Is this the right channel I'm thinking of? I don't know. I'm going to refer to everyone as they to be safe. Okay. Ezra made a cover of um, In the Middle by Dodie and I just thought it was so creative. The singing was amazing and I just, I loved it. Um, they recently released a cancer awareness song and you should definitely check that out because they're really talented and yeah I just think this is a channel that you should see because this is one that I found recently. The next one is Laura. Laura's always pottering and this girl I found um, actually not too long ago either. I was just subscribed and I don't know when I found her channel but I've been watching them a lot late lately and um, she's just gone to uni as well. She has Basically her whole channel is dedicated to Harry Potter, which I absolutely love channels like that. Personally I would never base my entire channel on Harry Potter, even though I know a big portion of my channel is Harry Potter related. I mean, come on, that's just a tiny bit of my personality. God, I have such an illness. <laughs> just a tiny bit of my personality and what I'm interested in as a person, so I would rather have a whole range of different things on my channel. However because I love Harry Potter so much, I love watching her channel and watching her talk about it and that's not the only thing she does, although her username is Laura's always pottering. Um, she does a whole bunch of other things too and I just think she's really good at YouTube and yeah, I think she deserves more subscribers. <laughs> Again, probably has more than me, most likely, I'm pretty sure she does, but I'm still going to promo it anyway. The next one I'm going to promote is... <laughs> is my friend Becky. Um, her channel is Becky M. She hasn't made a video for a little while but I think she finds it quite hard to make videos because she's so busy like working and doing university and blah 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 and I can't remember what her last video was but she's made quite a few with me on that channel. We've both been told that our funniest best videos are with each other so I definitely enjoyed like filming with her. We were thinking about making like a joint channel maybe one day um, just because when we do get together we film like six videos in a row and they're all hilarious and I want to use every bit of footage just always great and probably like a quarter of my channel is probably just me and Becky videos but it's just because it's so much fun when I get together with her and we make videos and while I enjoy making videos on my own having someone else there to have a bit of comedic banter with always helps and always engages the audience more I feel and while I do want to focus a bit more on just me on my channel um, rather than always relying on you know getting my sisters or my friends in um, I definitely enjoy those videos way more when I'm watching back my videos because watching myself back is a bit cringe but when there's someone else there like Becky it makes me laugh and reminds me of the good times so you should check out her channel she makes videos that are kind of just vlogs slash artsy stuff slash um, talking about certain things she talked about coming out nearly made me cry and you know it was a very real video she cried in it you should definitely check it out um, I like people that open up on camera um, it's a very hard thing to do I've done it before and you know when someone has the guts to do that you know they got balls so I'm just going to promote my best friend's channel because you should go watch it so go and this is one channel that actually is smaller than me so I can definitely class this as a small YouTube channel so go check it out and subscribe. The next one is a 
ASMR channel. I was going to do a separate video talking about ASMR channels, but I thought I'd just throw this one in. This one is KSMR, and I don't know how small her channel actually is. I probably should have checked when I'm including them in a small channel's like video compilation, but she basically makes, obviously, ASMR videos. Um, I follow a lot of ASMR YouTubers, but I feel like this is a very underrated one, and I don't know, there's just something very soothing about her voice, and it always puts me to sleep, so I just thought I'd let you know that this one is a good one. So yeah, this one <laughs> I want to talk about is Kelly Wilson. Kelly Wilson makes basically videos reacting and talking about and recapping um, shows. I really enjoy watching things like this and I haven't found many that are actually very good. They're usually just like recapping bullet, bullet points what happened and then they all say the same thing at the end and give the same opinions and I'm like, oh, boring. But she tends to give a little bit more insight and she's actually interesting to watch for some reason and you know, most channels like this are quite generic and boring, but I don't know, I've always found her videos really, really entertaining. And when Vampire Diaries was on um, Pretty Little Liars, I watched her um, recaps and reactions and live streams quite a lot, and it was just, it just added to the experience of watching them. So I think you should check her out. Yeah. I don't know if I'm saying this right. X, Ima, Gina. Tion X and this is someone that I met where did I meet her? I met her at Emma Blackery and she was really really nice really sweet um, she subscribed to my channel straight away I subscribed to hers I think that she makes some pretty cool content um, I can't really sum it up she does a whole bunch of different things but I just thought I'd put her channel out there for you to watch because yeah she was really sweet and she's a subscriber of mine so I thought there have her channel too. Another one actually I want to promote, Char Alvis. Why did I think it was just Char Alvis? No, it's Charlotte Alvis. Anyway, Charlotte Alvis, she is um, a friend that I worked with quite a few years ago now, probably like three years ago, from Primark, and that always makes me feel like, why am I? God, I have such a cold, sorry. Um, that always makes me feel like, oh my god, I've been at Primark for so long when I think about how long ago it was I worked with her, but she makes really entertaining videos. I will always watch every single one that she puts up. She's like me, she makes a bit of a mixed content. Sometimes it's makeup, sometimes it's reviews, sometimes it's hauls, sometimes it's challenges with friends, and I just really enjoy the range of different genres and video types that she makes. Entertaining videos, and I'm never disappointed, so... She uploads regularly, which is something you don't see with a lot of small YouTubers because they usually give up after a while. They're like, oh, I'm getting nowhere, I'm just going to quit. But you won't get anywhere with that kind of attitude. And if you really enjoy doing it, you won't stop even if you're getting no views, you know. So you should definitely check out her channel because you just should. Wait, if you enjoyed watching this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. That's the same thing as giving a thumbs up, but, you know. I'm sorry if this video is a bit quiet, I'm trying to be quiet right now, I'm not trying to be too loud, but also I have a really bad cold. <laughs> I can turn on your notifications, I make new videos twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays. Um, look how awful my hair looks, I can't even. I like the colour, it's just very dry and damaged. Ooh, dear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Go subscribe to all these people and also subscribe to me because that's the most important thing. <laughs> Bye.